The Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, who addressed Parliament, said that Ukraine will institute a special legal status for Poles living in Ukraine, a reciprocal proposal for Poland, which has welcomed several million Ukrainians. The bill will reflect the law adopted in Poland about our citizens, about Ukrainians. How does it work now? Ukrainians and Ukrainians temporarily residing in a neighboring country are de facto and de jure provided with the same opportunities as Poles. And it would be right to adopt such a law in Ukraine. I hope that Polish citizens will never have to apply such a law. But let's show our gratitude and respect, Zelensky said later in a late-night video message. According to Zelensky, the strong relations between Poland and Ukraine were built with blood because of Russian aggression. Poland became a key ally of Ukraine, serving as the main gateway for Western humanitarian aid and weapons flowing into the country, as well as a transit point for some foreign fighters, including those from Belarus, who volunteered to confront Russian troops. An official in the Polish president's office said both governments were interested in agreeing similar to the 1963 Elysee Treaty, in which France and West Germany agreed to meet regularly and agree on their major political decisions, a treaty that became the basis for closer European cooperation. Poland's president was the first foreign president to address the Ukrainian parliament since February 24. He was seeking to strengthen resolve and offer support for the country's hopes for EU membership. In his speech at the Verhevna Rada, he said that disturbing voices emerged saying that Ukraine must cede to Putin's demands. Only Ukraine has the right to decide its future. He added that the surrender of any Ukrainian territory would be a blow to the entire West, and emphasized Poland's strong support for Ukraine's membership in the European Union. He received a standing ovation, and in photos published on Twitter, he was pictured hugging the president of Ukraine. Volodymyr Zelensky also said in his nightly address that he was preparing for a week of peak diplomatic activity as Ukraine seeks ways to increase agricultural exports and fuel imports. He will also give a virtual speech at the World Economic Forum in Davos. Business and political leaders will also discuss energy markets and the risk of hunger in poorer countries that depend on Ukrainian exports.